Okay, guys, we're going more into the criminal enterprise of the Hallelujah Scriptures, and we're going to get some more names and some more faces that go along with this. Because at the very beginning, I thought it was only Deborah Wessel or Weiss, who calls herself Shalom Weiss, who was the top head, who was in charge of everything. But now that I've been investigating this, and what you guys are looking at is you're looking at the business paperwork for the Hallelujah Scriptures. Now, when you start looking at this, right out of the gate, you notice that Adele Horvath is a very old lady who is probably in a retirement center and has no ability to do any of what they are doing. Everybody that is on this paperwork, in my opinion, needs to be arrested. Let's take a quick look. Robert Griffith, the president of Hallelujah Scriptures, he needs to be arrested because he is complicit in stealing money on the backs of all of the people. He knows about all the scams that is going on. The Danette Allen Brona, this woman is needs to be arrested. She has been controlling the fraudulent funds of the Hallelujah Scriptures and has allowed Deborah Weiss to do this. Kate, can you take care of the dogs, please? And has allowed Deborah Weiss to do what she is doing. And then we have uh, Gary Johnson, who's in Australia, who needs to be arrested. And then this is the new person. This is who really needs to be arrested. This is the guy's name is Gary. Actually, this isn't it. Where is this guy? His is Gregory. This is it. This is the guy that needs to be arrested. This is the guy that allows Deborah Weiss on his bank account records to be doing a whole bunch of stuff. This guy allows Deborah Weiss to pick up hookers, to pick up prostitutes. He knows all about this. He knows all about her spending sprees. He knows all about them grifting all this money on the backs of the people of our creator. This guy, I'm now investigating this guy. I know where he is at. I have pictures of this guy. He needs to be arrested. These people are stealing money, lots and lots and lots of money. Now, the topic of this video is that, um, Cage, you're good. Mom's here, please. The topic of this video is not this. Um, and this is one of the gals that is in there. We'll expose her in just a little bit. Um, we're going to go over the March statements again. Now, the March statements are real funny because this was the month that accidentally showed that Deborah Weiss had ordered a violent prostitute, um, a Dama Matrix, somebody that dresses up in leather. And part of the website that she goes to um, it said, if you're a good slave, you can lick the dirt off my boots. And it had a redheaded woman with a whip. And um, that is the kind of woman that Deborah Weiss wants to be with, or it's her husband. And if her husband is doing this, then he's absolutely what you would call a cuck. And that is somebody who allows, it's just a, it's a, it's a bad term for people who do what it is. And this, these are the kind of people that we are dealing with right here. And when we look at the crimes that these people have committed, this is the crime right here. Deposits and credits in this account right here that is hands that love. And um, again, this is the Hallelujah Scriptures. Now, they stole $29,500 in this month. And again, I took this to my accountant, my bookkeeper, who happens to be my wife, and I had her line item all of this. Now, guys, these are the donations that they're getting in. These are all illegitimate funds. Look at the stripe. Look at the days. 6000 is what they stole from the Hallelujah Scriptures. This is why the... Um, violent prostitute is on this bank statement is because she withdrew $6,000 from the Hallelujah Scriptures PayPal account that is run by a, that is owned by a dead man. All of their PayPal accounts are fraudulent. All of their interactions, all of their community, they're, they're all fraudulent. These people are basically running in a very illegitimate operation. Now, continuing on, let's look at all of these. This is what they stole in this month. These are donations off the backs of people. Look at that money, guys. Lots and lots of money. To the tune of $29,500. Now, this is something... Let me, let me go over one quick thing real quick. Now, I'm going to take you over to the Hallelujah Scriptures page themselves where you see 
this oath, right? And it says our, it's a binding oath. And essentially they swore this in front of Yah, which is crazy, right? Numbers 20, and it says, all donations given to Hallelujah Scriptures, unless specified, are used for printing and shipping only. So I'm very curious where the donations came in that said Deborah Weiss can order a violent hooker. Um, that's really, you know, and I, I don't mean to be vulgar on this. It is what it is. She's hiring a violent prostitute, whatever you want to call her. Now let's read on. Our vow to Yahuwah and you, his people. All donations for the Hallelujah Scriptures from the public at large go to printing and shipping fulfillment costs only, unless otherwise specified by the donor. Now, if you guys are the donors that actually paid for Deborah Weiss's violent hooker, I would like to hear from you guys. Please email me. I would love to hear that you guys donated for this woman's fetish or kink or weirdo kink. Okay, when a man vows a vow to Yahoo or swears an oath to bind himself by some agreement, he does not break his word. He does according to all that comes out of his mouth. That's what all of us in the Torah community live by, right? This is what our creator has said, and so we will do what he says. Now, continuing on. The Hallelujah Scriptures founding members, Deborah Weiss, uh, Ken Weiss, or Max Weiss, whatever you want to call this, this guy, hereafter collectively referred to as team, right? <laughs> yeah, team from Satan, team from hell, made a vow not to take any funds or for wages, overheads, or equipment from general donations that we receive from the Hallelujah Scriptures. Really? We just saw that you are doing this. The vow is made public on the Hallelujah Scriptures website and has been since the inception of the project. Right? These are demons lying to us, guys. We take this vow very seriously, right? No hookers. We, no one has ever taken funds for wages, payments, or lifestyles and never will. Guys, the hooker's part of the lifestyle. Every person in the Hallelujah Scriptures team uses their own equipment unless someone donated for an equipment for Hallelujah Scriptures official use and receives no payment whatsoever. Mm -hmm. All other project-related costs, aside from printing, shipping, fulfillment costs, such as web server, accountant, bookkeeper, and domain name fees, communications costs, secure email system for the team to use microphones for the audio project, are covered by donors who specifically want to finance other costs. We have also offered extra biblical books on donation basis specifically to help finance these other cost components of the project. No, this just pads their money, guys. This is what it does. This was clearly stated publicly on the new on the six new book page of the website. Um, this is, I want to get to the very bottom of this. This is just the same rhetoric over and over and over, right? They're quoting scriptures as they tell everybody they're not stealing from everybody. So this is the last part of this that I want you guys to see. We vow to use all donations that are donated for printing and shipping for this purpose. For where our heart is, our treasure is also. And this is the vow we made to the Father, His Son, and publicly in videos, as all we do is for the esteem of our sovereign. Okay, buying a hooker is not the esteem of our sovereign, right? This is not what our Creator would have us do. Not for ourselves or any man or woman, for we are to be good stewards of the Word and all donations. Right, that sounds really, really, really spectacular. Until we look back to this right here, and we notice that, you know, we had uh, $11,000 of a donations come in on one day. Now, um, this is all these donations that they're talking about, right? These, this is them being a good steward of this. And so let's take a quick look at this. Um, and we have, of course, the infamous prostitute. Now, I believe there are many more prostitutes. I believe that um, Gregory has allowed this to happen and that Greg is involved in this. And I believe that Greg is on this payroll as well. People need to arrest this guy. He is running around in the United States of America stealing things. They, they, these people are criminals, right? If you were doing this and the cops caught you, you would go to jail. This is These are all criminal acts. Now, let's continue on. So business services. So we got some of this. Let's take a look at this and then we'll line item all of this up. There's our cash withdrawal. There's some more business services. Then we got our groceries, 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 uh, legal services, gift store, buying stuff, right? This, this looks like it's really taking care of the, the people of our creator. There's more cash withdrawals. You have a hardware store. Um, this is the business services that are tying the two companies together, right? United in Yah is the Hallelujah Scriptures. 
they're all over. These Zoom stuff, this was this isn't for Hallelujah Scriptures, right? This is for United and Yaw. Their other business front where they are completely stealing tons and tons of money. Let's take a quick look at this. Kitchenware and gourmet food supplier. Um, that would be nice, right? Uh, I would like to go to the KitchenAid stuff. My wife would love all that stuff, right? We're too broke, so we don't do that stuff because that'd be stealing. $267.93. That's what she did. Now we're back to groceries. How many groceries can this woman do unless she's stealing all this money and taking her little nuts and squirreling them away in her little hidey hole, right? And there we are again. And uh, more groceries, groceries, hardware store, hardware store. Then we got the RV and boat shop, right? Guys, can I please take you back to this? We vow to use all donations that are donated for printing and shipping for this purpose, for where our heart is, our treasure is also. And this is the vow we made to his father, to the father, his son, and publicly in videos, right? Well, now that the truth is coming out, you guys can see everything these people spew is a lie. So web hosting company, it just, all these bills, like what they said, all the hosting, all this other stuff, it comes out of the same account. There is no specified things. Um, and if somebody has given permission for Deborah Weiss to order the hooker, please, again, jboss008 at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you guys, those of you who funded her hooker. Now, let's take a quick look at this. This was her big monthly spending, right? She spent $11,766.55. Now, I brought up earlier in another video that when I was working at Google, bringing in $120,000 a year, I was bringing in about $7,000 net. That was after taxes, after all the other stuff. Basically, these people live a tax-free life and just extort it another $12,000 from the people. This is only one month, guys. We're talking one month. Last month was another $11,000, the month before that. So we're talking right now between two months, nearly $25,000 this woman has spent. And this is only the beginning of it, right? So let's continue on. Let's get into um, what my um, handy dandy accountant took a look at. And let's see exactly where she's doing. So this was an easier month, right? Because last month we had... $2,500 in cash withdrawals. This month, she only did $1,239, right? So she's, she's down uh, about $1,200 of what she stole last month in cash. Well, that makes up, she makes up for it elsewhere. So her office supplies um, from an RV, whatever she's doing there. And um, let us take a quick look here. We had, we're back to the infamous knife shop, right? Either Max likes knives or they do a lot of hunting and fishing. We actually found where they, it looks like they, they got fishing licenses. And so they're fishing out of their RVs going up and down the coast of New Zealand, stealing everybody's money. It's just incredible the lifestyle these guys live. Now, um, again, this is the month of March 2022. And remember, um, in September, they ran another scam that they stole another 200 some thousand dollars off the backs of people when they bought a $235,000 house. Now, let's continue on. Remember, supposedly there's only two people here. And remember that your donations supposedly don't fund this lifestyle. But this is why that Gregory needs to be arrested. All of the people on the paperwork need to be arrested because they are allowing Deborah Weiss to do this. They know about the money. They know about her scam. They know about the prostitutes. They know about all of this. But yet they continue on. Continue on. Here we go. Look at that. Six nine eighty nine. Ooh, look at this lady's bills. Wow. So she spent in the month of March $5,528.83 supposedly living out of an RV that has a refrigerator the size of what? A, a couple of toasters? Very, very small, right? So she's squirreling this money, this, this food and the money away. She went to Amazon and then she had her, her uh, more business items, whatever she does with that, not really a big deal. Then we have a prostitute, right? And remember that U.S. money is worth way more in New Zealand. And so this would have been probably two hours of beatings, right? So she probably scheduled two hours of getting cracked with a whip and thrown to the ground or whatever it is these sideshows do, right? This is stuff that is not of our father. This is stuff of Sodom and Gomorrah. This is stuff of evil. This is stuff that would never fly in the face of our creator. But yet you have the people that we're, are willing, Gregory and, um, what was that other guy's name in the front? Dennis. 
Danette. Yeah, Gregory and Danette. And those two need to be arrested for allowing this to happen. Okay, so we have the hardware store, right? Since we're not funding anyone's lifestyle with all of these donations. So you have $1,153 of hardware store. Then you have their hunting and fishing licenses that they are. So they're out there fishing it up, living their good life, right? Who would not want to be living it up in beautiful New Zealand, driving up and down the road and um, having a heyday? Kitchenware. So they, she's, uh, there's your kitchenware store and knitting store. I doubtful this, this lady knits. I mean, <laughs> she doesn't need to knit anything where she's going. It's going to be warm enough down there. Okay. Um, bookstore, clothing store, and then unknown payment, $250. Um, not a big deal considering the amount of money that they do. The big topic right here is why did she, why did she spend all this, this grocery money on organics and very nice food and all of this stuff when she is, um, you know, she's just squirreling this way. She's just stealing this money. And the final thing I wanted to talk about here, again, is I want to go back up to these deposits. And some people may not see a crime. And if you don't see a crime, you probably see a crime if you've donated and you now know that your donations went nowhere except to fund this woman's extravagant lifestyle. But this is the crime, right? Right here, you're seeing the deposits, Every single day when these come into Stripe, these are people going to a website and saying that they want to um, donate, right? The United and Yaw all comes into this. All of their little accounts, everything that they have comes into this. Look at this money, folks. This is not chump change. For anybody that is a working person, you know this is huge money. 6000 I mean, this is the deposits on a daily basis. This company is filthy rich. And yet there are no orphans, there are no widows, and there are no lepers. It's all a lie. And you would see them in here, right? You would see on these line items, orphans, widows, and lepers, you would see things of that nature, right? If you saw a check, we don't see check deposits. And we have the entire year of several accounts of these criminals at the Hallelujah Scriptures. There is not a single orphanage. There's not a single place that you would think that this is place that, oh, well, there it is. There's their money. They're donating, right? What they claim and how they steal this off is they steal this on, not only on the backs of the people, but they are also, um, they're, they're all on payroll and they're all doing this great evil. And this money still keeps floating into these guys guys they need to be arrested. These people in the States absolutely need to be arrested. The people that are allowing this to continue on, you guys need to be arrested, right? We have the people that are on this that, that are visible, that are allowing this to happen. Robert Griffith, you're allowing it to happen. Now, her people over in Philippines supposedly are the ones that are getting the orphanage, the, the food over in the, the orphanage. But there's, no, there's nothing going over there. You see the payments that go over there. And she's, she basically owns a couple of houses over in the Philippines and she has a couple of slaves over in the Philippines that do her dirt and she just pays them and they take in all the orders. All the, Deborah Weiss's life is amazing. She lives a very, very nice life in the secrecy of her stuff. And people like this, Gregory Murray, this guy needs to be arrested. The bank accounts are under his name. He and his wife are allowing this to happen. They know of the illicit funds that are going in and out. So when these people are all allowing this to happen, by default, they are guilty. My friends who are listening to this, who are in the Torah community, we know this is not acceptable. We know that you can't do this to the people of Yah. We know that our creator would never sanction this, that he would never allow this, and, and he is not okay with this which is why this is all being exposed. Now, folks, we have two families that I just became aware of that are in Arkansas right now, that are in dire straits. These people are hurting. These people have just been left to the wolves. They were shipping Bibles for months on end, and Deborah Weiss decided she was going to flip the property they just barely bought in September for $235,000 off the backs of Yaw's people. Right? It, it was all donation funds that they scammed across the backs of these people. Gregory Murray, Gregory uh, Lebo Murray needs to be arrested. Mandy Wordman needs to be arrested, as well as Shalom Weiss or Deborah Weiss, whatever her name is, and whatever Max or Ken Allen, they all need to be arrested. This is a criminal enterprise that is working in multiple countries 
that is doing very evil. In fact, I don't know who the guy from Australia is quite yet, but I'm, I'm all over this guy. I'm looking for him and I'm going to find him and I'm going to find these connections in here. And we're going to expose these people. And if only a few people listen to this, that doesn't matter. All I need to do is plant these seeds and the people will eventually get it. And there's going to be enough of this out there that you, if you want to turn a blind eye and keep sending your money, then you guys are complicit. You guys are buying hookers. Are you okay spending your money on prostitutes? I've, I heard another gal who said she didn't buy vitamins, but she notices that Shalom bought all these vitamins and they donated to Shalom, right? So while this woman is living this extravagant lifestyle on the backs of y'all's people, the people that are donating are the ones that are broken. That is where this million dollars in assets and cash right this very second needs to be refunded. They don't have orphans. They don't have widows. They don't have lepers. And they're not giving away free Bibles. Have a good day.